I probably should have said at the outset um, that I'm Councillor Lena Wetham. Um, I'm Deputy Leader down in East Ayrshire Council. I'm the Cabinet Member for Housing and Communities. And until just recently, I was um, Causes Community Wellbeing Spokesperson um, with a lead on housing. Um, so I'm going to share with you some thoughts that I um, have um, before we get to the next section um, of the day. Some of you may know that I was involved um, in the prevention review group's work and um, we published a report last week, which I think actually could be a complete game changer for Scotland. Um, whilst we do have some of the strongest protections in place to help individuals and families when they are at imminent risk of losing their homes, we have placed far less emphasis to date on effective work to prevent homelessness happening in the first place. This means it's all too common for people to reach crisis point before they get the help they need. It was this need to act earlier and prevent people from ha ever having to experience the trauma of homelessness which drove our work. And our work was guided by three principles that there should be a collective responsibility across public sector services to prevent homelessness. That intervention to prevent homelessness should start as soon as possible, and that those at risk of hom homelessness should have greater choice in where they live and access to the same options as other members of the public. I worked for nearly two decades in the homelessness and women's aid sectors, and also experienced two periods of homelessness in my own life. The last with a 10 month old baby, having to flee external violence from a next door neighbour who was dealing drugs and in the middle of a turf war. The issues I saw repeated in my own life and in the lives of all of the women fleeing domestic abuse, the young care experienced people trying to manage their own tenancy at 17 without any meaningful support, the people dealing with addictions and repeated incarceration with scant input from services, those experiencing significant mental health issues, the young vulnerable women in Ayrshire involved in prostitution being exploited by sex traffickers who ran them up to Glasgow and Edinburgh every single weekend, the folk in deep poverty struggling to pay their rent and put food on the table. All of these people were subjected to repeated trauma in a system that was not joined up and that did not respond in a holistic way at the earliest juncture possible. The homelessness system should become the safety net it was intended to be, rather than a default response to housing problems. More affordable housing, including social lets, is of critical importance in tackling homelessness, but so is ensuring that everyone plays their part in getting to the root of what is causing someone's homelessness in the first place. After all, we don't necessarily have a shortage of available tenancies in my own local authority in East Ayrshire, but we do see a revolving door for some people when it comes to repeat presentations. A 30-year-old with a history of sex failed tenancies showed that the system has failed that individual. I sincerely think that the recommendations in the Prevention Review Group's report hold the potential to radically change the face of homelessness in Scotland. And for me, a big part of that was being about, you know, making sure that everything that we do has, you know, a trauma-informed basis on it. Um, so those are my own thoughts, and I think if you haven't read the Prevention Review Group's recommendations, I really would, would urge you to have a look at them. Um, and hopefully now that they're in front of the Housing Minister and COSLA, um, we will see some action um, perhaps in, in the next Parliament. So the next part that we're going to deal with um, is our speaker sessions. We do have um, a few inputs. We've got five inputs um, from different speakers. Um, the first one that we have um, is uh, an overview of the National Trauma Training Programme, and that's from Caroline Bruce, who's the Head of Programming, um, and she's transforming psychological trauma um, from the NHS in Scotland. Now, there is a chat bar down the side, and I would encourage you at any point that you want to pop questions in there to pop them in, because the Improvement Service colleagues are going to take note of them um, and bring them to the question and answer session. So don't hold them back in your head, because you might forget, pop them into that chat bar. 